Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Today I wanted to talk about the potential for a new Xi'an cargo ship coming to the game soon, or at least going on concept soon. There have been rumours flying around since late 2019 about a ship and I wanted to correlate all that information on that ship together and add some of the newer rumours and teasers and put it all together and talk about what we might see in the near future. At CitizenCon 2019, we saw various ship concepts that Cloud Imperium were working on. Two of them, the Rock Mining Vehicle and the Talon Tavern Fighter, have been since fully developed and released. There were two more there though, the very popular small refinery ship, which we can actually expect Cloud Imperium to make probably in the near future, uh, and a Xi'an cargo ship. We did see some of the concepts that they had in mind at the time for that ship, and you can expect it to have evolved somewhat from these sort of uh, pictures uh, that they showed. Uh, they would have gone one of these routes probably and then evolved the ship a little bit from there. Although they could have gone an entirely different route, that's potentially possible as well. From attending the event, I have some notes from the presentation that they did on uh, those ships and that ship and had some additional questions answered as well. So the thinking of the ship at that time was it's going to be for a small crew, it is a multi-crew ship with around 300 SU in cargo to compete with the Hull B and Freelancer Max type ships. It will help build out the Xi'an race, it will have some form of quirk that uh, may make it unique and it's going to be suitable for human and player use. I heard that it was being described as a medium cargo ship a few times as well, rather than as a small multi-crew ship, so um, multi-crew was the main focus there, and something between small and medium size it seems. Recently, the Galactopedia has received a new entry for Gattac Manufacture, who, um, well, let me read the law post for you. Gattac Manufacture is a commercial industrial spacecraft manufacturer located on Hyoten 2. The company has a reputation in the Xi'an Empire for producing cutting-edge and reliable cargo ships. After the 2947 Human Xi'an Trade Initiative went into effect, the company began funding research to create spacecraft adapted to the needs of both Xi'an and humans. It is expected to unveil the fruit of its efforts in the early 2950s. As Star Citizen is set 930 years in the future, the current game year is 2951, and that would make it the early 2950s now. And they are coming out and saying, yes, we have a ship in the works. It also sounds like it might potentially um, be straight to flight ready when it's revealed. Uh, maybe. Uh, but realistically, it could be a shorter term concept run as well, like with the RSI Scorpius being planned for 3.17 release, for example. So when might we see the concept sale of this ship or um, the ship go into the game or um, it first go on sale at the very least? Around the middle of June each year is Alien Week. In lore, that's to celebrate first contact with the Banu, and there's a variety of competitions, posts on aliens and languages, and you can probably expect some alien ships to be on sale. And it's very possible this is where the Xi'an cargo ship would first be on sale. It sort of makes sense, right? So now let's move on to the realms of more, I reckon, and pure speculation. This is much more speculative than previously we talked about. So I want to sort of talk about what I expect we could see and some pricing and that sort of stuff and I'm thinking that we will see something relatively maneuverable from a cargo ship as it's Xi'an they like their sort of like oddly moving maneuverable rigs for their engines uh, their ships are typically a bit insect like and you can see from those early concept that maybe they'll go with something that looks a bit like a beetle um, with quite a square cross section I'd expect a dedicated alien cargo ship to be around $110 if it's on the small side and up to $250 if it's on the larger side. There is a bit of alien and exotic tax that goes into these ships that typically makes them more expensive historically. I am expecting it probably to be around the 180 mark though and be a bit bigger cargo rise than the hull B. Cloud Imperium do you like to increase things in size from concepts typically as well and I think that might be what happens with this ship. Maybe it'll be around 400 SCU, though they might keep it around 300 and give the ship some other benefits over like more dedicated cargo freighters. Also, they wanted the ship to be multi-crew. So what does that actually mean? It probably means turrets, missiles, defenses. We don't really know much about Xi'an multi-crew ships. We've only really seen their Kartu Al, which is like a light fighter, and the Santok Yai, a medium fighter. Um, so we don't really know if they're going to favour remote turrets or manned turrets. I might say maybe they'd go for remote 
turrets and have all the crew in like a an area near each other that they can all sort of remote use those turrets from. Probably a few remote turrets as well. My dream though would be if they actually are trying to make an alien version of the Mercury Star Runner that focuses more on cargo and uh, being able to defend itself. That level of cool and multi-crew would be fantastic and I really like the idea of something that's a bit more um, maneuverable, something that's able to defend itself from enemies that are trying to attack it and it can sort of like land easily on planets and get to some areas more easily that other cargo ships might not be able to do. However, the truth is, we don't actually know what we're getting with the ship just yet. Um, but I've always loved rampant speculation, and I'd like to know what yours is. Would you buy an alien cargo ship? Do you already have a Banu Merchantman? What size and price do you think the ship will be? What would you like to see from the ship? Do you think we're going to see it during Alien Week? And um, when do you think it could be released? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy, buying spaceships and going on ship hub. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. I'm shilling for spaceships today. Do you like building spaceships? Of course you do. JR Fabrication make officially licensed Star Citizen products and Airfix-like model kits. Do you want a narrow fighter? Maybe a freelancer? Some cyclone little buggies? Dragonflies? Oh my. You can buy them and build them or just add them to your pile of shame. You want dioramas of ships and vehicles? They've got them too. And they continue to add more to their range. Follow the link down below to jrfabrication.co.uk forward slash board to see all of the wonderful products they have on offer and use the code board Invictus to also get some exclusive Fleet Week recruitment propaganda. A3 art prints with each of your orders. Ooh. Every month we have a ship giveaway for May. It's for a Crusader Hercules Starlifter. It's a big boy cargo and ground vehicle transport ship that you can expect to be added to the game by the end of the month. Just comment on any of my videos made during the month to be in for a chance of winning that. Thank you so much to my channel members who have pressed the join button below my videos and my Patreons as well. Going the extra mile really, really helps the channel. Say thanks for helping the channels in. Thanks for helping the channels in. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well, and maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support.